Hi, and welcome to Fifi's Bookshelf. I'm Fifi, and today, starting off our new year, I have a great story to read to you today. And the story is called Irie, the Caterpillar, written by Latoya Wakefield, illustrated by Kayvon Robinson. So, get cozy and lend me your ears and let's get reading. In the land of wood and water, there was a caterpillar named Irie. Irie loved his name, although he did not know why it was given to him. One starry night, he asked his grandma, Hello, Grandma. Why was I called Irie? Grandma smiled and told him, Your mother gave you that name because you did not cry when you emerged from the egg. You laughed. Irie means everything is all right. When you laughed, we knew you were all right. And Mon did Ari love to laugh. However, there was one thing that didn't make Ari happy. The idea of going into a cocoon. His older cousins all went into cocoons so that they could become butterflies. But Ari was afraid of being in that dark, silky stuff all by himself. One day he asked his mother, Mom, can I just stay a caterpillar forever? His mother replied, Irie, there are some things that are inedible in life. In every table? He repeated, confused. Yes, my sunshine. That means there are some things in life you have to do. Okay, he said. But the more cocoons he saw, the more afraid he became. Next day, as he was crawling across the warm soil, someone called his name from above. Irie, Irie. The voice sounds so familiar, Irie thought. He looked up and saw a butterfly, breathtaking and beautiful in the sun's glory. She was coming towards him. It's me, your cousin Sugar, the butterfly said. It feels so great to finally be up here in the sky. Now I can go anywhere I want to. That's great, said Irie. You look great, Cousin Sugar. I feel great. Hurry up and join us. You should have been in the cocoon by now. Do I really have to go in the cocoon before I can be with you guys? Irie said softly. But Cousin Sugar no longer heard him. She had already flown away. Irie watched her fluttering above him wondering if he would ever be able to fly with the butterflies. At home, his mother and grandparents were concerned about his growth. He seems afraid of his path, Grandma said. He is, Mom. I'm worried, his mother said. If he doesn't go into the cocoon soon, he could... She dropped her head, too afraid to even speak the words. They wrapped their wings around her. Don't worry, daughter. Give him time. He'll find his way, Grandpa said. Yes, everything will be all right, Grandma said. Meanwhile, Ira went to visit his cousin Junior, who was slowly disappearing into the cocoon. Junior, not you too, Irie exclaimed. It is our destiny, Irie, he said. I don't want you to go, Irie sniffled. Don't worry, it will be okay. The sun will shine in a few days. It always does. Junior smiled and his head disappeared into the cocoon. No, no, Irie said. He stayed there for a while and watched Junior. That was his last cousin. Now he was gone. Irie was all alone. The next morning, Irie came home to find all the butterflies in the gathering. Where were you? His mother said loudly while flying towards him as fast as she could. I was with Junior, he's gone. Oh, Irie, he'll be okay. His mother hugged him tightly. I'm so afraid of being in the dark by myself, Mom, Irie said softly. We're all here for you, Irie, his mother answered. Yes, Irie, we'll be here day and night while you're in the cocoon. You're never alone, Grandpa replied. And when you're a butterfly, just imagine the flowers we can visit on the North Coast, Cousin Shuggy said. 
Junior will be here with us too, Grandma added. I know you're afraid of being by yourself in the cocoon, my sunshine, but it's only for a little while. When you come out, you'll get to fly with us, his mother said. We are here for you, Irie, Grandma said. Irie felt it. The time was right. I'm ready, Mom, he said with a big, bright smile. I can do it. I'm still afraid of being there all by myself, but as long as I have you all, everything will be all right. Ira found a great spot on a tree and laid there as he changed. Soon he was completely covered by his cocoon. For days and nights, his family watched and waited. Finally, the cocoon broke and a few seconds later, Ira emerged, laughing as he always did. He was the most beautiful butterfly. There's that laugh again, Grandpa said, the sweetest sound that ever befell our ears. The whole family was there waiting for Irie as he came out of the cocoon. Just as they had promised, Junior, now a butterfly, was there too. They all had a feast. After the dark times, everything's always going to be all right, Grandma said. And so they started singing in the sunshine. My end.